Uh, Port Lorraine is uh, where we're taking you here, and we've got snow coming down. Skies are getting a little brighter. We're just minutes away from the sun coming up, and it's 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 been a wet snow. So the good thing is that uh, you know a lot of the roads, as Danielle's been showing you, are just wet this morning, and hopefully we'll keep them more that than anything else. But uh, we could get some slushy accumulation throughout the day, and as snow picks up at times, uh, that will obviously be the case, and, and that will mean it's going to take you a little bit longer. So this is kind of like your heads up. And we have indeed seen those winter weather advisories kick in. This happened overnight while you were asleep. If this is uh, new news to you and you're just pouring that first cup of coffee and turning the TV on, 4 a.m. is when uh, the advisory started and it goes until 7 a.m. tomorrow unless the weather service decides to, uh, you know, let it expire a little sooner than that. But west, east side, inland through Medina and Akron all included in this advisory. And we are seeing a mix of rain and snow and uh, on the southern end, it's especially just rainy at this point. Mansfield, for example, has been reporting just rain. We've had a mix along the lake shore and it's a wet snow, like I said. So that all being, uh, you know, a part of your commute this morning, allow extra time. And I'm going to show you an hour by hour breakdown coming up, but we clearly have this in our forecast through the day. It's going to be pretty steady here through the afternoon. By later this afternoon, it will become more scattered. You'll see what I mean. Temperatures are in the 30s. They are not going to move. In fact, uh, mid 30s, low to mid 30s, that's the scenario that you'll be dealing with all day long. The thing that will change a bit is the winds. They are going to pick up. Right now, they're 5 to 15 miles an hour sustained. They'll increase, so that will also add to some wind chills later on. Right now, our wind chills are mainly in the 20s, which is about where we should be for lows anyway. And accumulation, it's it's not like this is super impressive. Now, within, and let me remind you too, this goes through Sunday. This is not just today, but it's the snow belt area, primary snow belt, Geauga, Ashtabula, Lake counties that could end up with about a half a foot of snow by the end of the weekend. Obviously, these amounts may change, but the vast majority of you are not going to pick up that much snow from all of this. It's just when it's happening, right? So if you're heading out to maybe lunch and the snow's coming down and it's slick, it's going to take you longer. Same thing goes for heading out the door to work or school this morning. And on our National Design Mart forecast, it's pretty consistent through the morning hours through early afternoon. But then by late afternoon, early evening, it becomes much more scattered and kind of just hit and miss. So that's inspiring in the sense that maybe you'll be able to get to that fish fry with less of a headache. But at the same time, there could still be some slick spots and it's going to be a cold weekend. Here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. 30s, scattered snow. Danielle will continue with cold and snowy weather into next week. And again, don't forget, we spring ahead an hour on Sunday. Okay, and we are just 10 days away from the official start of spring. Thank you, Holly.